So in January of 2021, we ordered our well. And in June of 2021, this well, it's right behind me, a four inch well was dug. We have a video out where Mrs. Piney Grove and I hooked up this pressure tank and did all this plumbing because we needed to get water to the house that's behind the camera so we could finish building that house. Well, that's when we discovered there were sediments in the well. They came out and tried to fix this well. And there's a lot of explanation there, but the bottom line is the well went into a sand pocket and they tried to drill down, make the well deeper, and then put a 60 foot screen down there in the bottom so sand would not come into the water or come into the area where the pump is. Well, we kept running the well, kept running the well, and it just had too many sediments. He said, we still might always have sediments coming from this well. So uh, true to his word, he said he'd drill me another well. So that's what they're doing behind me. They went farther up the hill. We're hoping that we get away from that sand pocket and we get into some true hard limestone. When you're in hard limestone, that's the Florida water aquifer and that's where you get your best water. The water filters through that limestone, there's no sediments. So our hope is by going up the hill, we hope that um, when this land was created eons ago, that maybe there was some upheaval of rock deep below and that the further down the hill behind the camera would be sandy just like where I'm sitting. So I'm gonna stand back here, but I'll just explain it real quick. It looks like we've got four inch well casing but what they're doing is they're putting extensions on the drill bit and they're drilling down, but they drill, then they recycle the water. And then as they're drilling, they look at the dirt that's coming up from the drill. So that's what this thing does. It uh, separates the dirt and it lets you see what they're drilling into. Right now what I see is sand and clay, but that yellow thing in the hole there is a water pump. And so they bring their own water and they use water on the drill bit, and so they recycle it. Okay, I just had a quick chat with Greg, and uh, he's just, he's aggravated right now because they found a cavity, which is exactly what we were trying to get away from with the first well, but he said he did hit rock, but that ruined his drill bit. This, uh, this well out at Piney Grove is proven to be an issue. So the current well hits that pressure switch and then feeds the pressure tank through all of this PVC, comes out the pressure tank, goes into a filter. One of these PVCs goes to the house and one's gonna go to the shed. But in order to get the water from that well to this pressure tank, because this pressure tank will stay on this concrete pad, because unfortunately this concrete pad is not movable because it's all part of this well, because our assumption was this well would be good for our homestead. So instead we'll come through a trench here, we'll bring the PVC up and into the tank, and then everything else will remain the same. All right, folks, here's your update. Here's where we're at. It's been an hour or two since, uh, since I checked in last, but you see in the background, Greg is continuing to work on the well. And he said what happened was this sand cavity that affected the first well, he found that same sand cavity going up the hill, but it was closer to the surface, more at 100 feet, whereas he felt the sand cavity was around 190 at this well, the, the four inch well he put in last year. He's able to put the well casing past the sand cavity, so that's good. So now you have casing against sand, whereas in the other well, the sides of the well were allowing that sand to cave in. But what he found, and he actually ruined a drill bit, he hit a rock and he said it was limestone, but it was really hard. And he, he feels like he's pulverized a bunch of rock in the bottom of the hole, it's fragmented, and he can't get that rock out, but he's found water. So what he's trying to do is he's putting a four inch screen, whereas this other well had a two inch screen. He's putting a four inch screen down in there where the water is. I think the well's at around 200 feet or so. He's gonna put that four inch screen and you see the bigger casing, the eight inch casing behind me. So I guess we are gonna go with an eight inch well. He said, this one's frustrating, but he's seen this before. So this isn't the first time he's seen this situation. So um, we're just gonna hope for the best. Hopefully this gives us good clean water and we'll keep checking in and recording the progress. That looks like he's drilling. It is, because I see that the screen is cut. 
Okay, I don't think that's good. So he was trying to put that four inch screen in the hole and he felt it was gonna be tight because of those rock fragments. And what I see is that he's pulled that screen out and they're cutting it and putting um, adapters on it or couplers on it so they can reuse it. So that's telling me that the hole is not clear. And so that's why he's putting the drill bit back on now and drilling. if you can hear it but the concrete is going down the side of that well casing 180 feet okay it's about three o'clock and greg's left for the day let me try to explain where we're at with this well so this is four inch well casing and some of that is four inch screen and the screen has the little slits in it and the casing doesn't so he may or may not use the screen he'll know more tomorrow but he's got an eight inch well, but what he'll do is he'll drill inside of that eight inch well. And then once he gets this four inch pipe inside of that, then he packs between the four inch and the eight inch. So there's no gap all the way down. He packs dirt in there. And then your pump goes inside of the four inch well. And so we talked about the recirculation pump. That's that yellow thing right there. And normally that sits down in that hole and recirculates water, but there was no water to recirculate because water was going down between where you see the edge of the casing and the size of the hole. It was going down in there and going into some cavity down below. And once it went into that cavity below, it didn't come back up when you force air in the hole or the drill bit or anything like that. So normally you would have that water just stay in that cylinder but that's not a cylinder. Down there somewhere, there's a side pocket that's taking all the water in the mud. So right now he's dumped a bunch of concrete down there and that seals that eight inch casing to the dirt around it at the bottom. And then that just basically becomes a sleeve to run the actual well through. He says that's common practice in sand, sandy soil. It's basically a, a double sleeved well. The negative is it's gonna be costly, but the bonus is, is that when lightning hits the ground around it, it hits that eight inch casing and might damage that before it would damage the four inch casing. We're in Florida and there's a lot of lightning. That's what we got there. I'm also going to talk a little bit about how the water is going to get from that well over to the pressure tank. So you can see the new well and you can see the old well. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a pump inside of here, whatever depth the water is, and then we'll pump the water through a one inch line that will bury underground two feet until we get over to the concrete pad. And then we'll also run a direct burial electrical cable that will power that pump. And as we come along here, and we'll dig a trench here, we're gonna bring the one inch PVC to this one inch pipe. And that's how we're gonna bring water into the pump house. And then we're gonna take the underground burial and go around the concrete slab and bring the electrical up through that four inch pipe right there. That four inch pipe was just an afterthought. I had some extra pipe laying around and I thought, you know, maybe later I might run some pecs through it or just have alternate ways to get water in and out of this pump house. And I guess uh, it, was, it was good thinking because we're gonna use that to bring electrical into the pump house and then we'll connect the electrical from the existing electrical in the pump house. We'll connect that to the new pump. 